Anybody? Is anyone there? Uh, Koval? Marit? Uh, uh, hey, this is Yasna. Uh, I was just with you. And now, I don't know where I am. Or how I got here. Uh, I've got a splitting headache. Does anyone hear me? Base, do you copy? Are you there? No damage to the suit or bone structure. Just <clears throat> this headache. for a moment. My receiver's dead, but the transmitter may still be working. I have two solid hectobars in the tank. That's enough for several hours. Damn it, I've lost my beacon. Where is it? I thought nothing. <laughs> I'm on my own. The beacon can't be detected either. There aren't many supplies, which would suggest a quick recce. Or was that just the end of the mission? Oh, let's see if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Oh, am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. We took two landers to the surface. Don't usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. The first group explored the ocean with no biologist. It's weird. And the other one, just me, took a different route. Leading to... Right! I was heading straight to the camp. You must be somewhere near. Give me a sign! Send up a flare, the probe! Anything! Okay. I'm gonna head to the camp, but I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> you didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like... I need to stop doing this. I'm looking for something that resembles a dog. That rope. I, 
I think it's mine. I'll try to retrieve it later. It might come in handy. A specific structure, which does not resemble any canine. I'm checking another object, which also doesn't match. Oh, focus. resembles the eye of a needle. I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. to navigate. Oh, I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. Warm. Oh, getting warmer. Got you. I found it. Look for me on your trackers. This area is volcanically active. Ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. 
There's no dust in the air. The sky's clear, and the soil so laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. <laughs> meters in a straight line I, I see you can you hear me I just need to get down from here the escarpment is about 10 meters high it looks like I could slide down All right. I want to see you as soon as possible. I'll take a chance. Perfume. Oh, oh, that was less than ideal. But I'm okay. The suit's fine too. could be better. Maybe I should wait. I'm much closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. But... I don't remember it. Did... Did I black out again?
I remember you, Regis' third satellite. Astrogator, sir. Crew? Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes, and yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the world of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps were, Doctor. I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae. But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought-intolerant evolution occurred here. That would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analyses? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days, too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis III is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean together with its crew of almost a hundred men. Professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. Uh, they are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right. 
But where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance, while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. <laughs> Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Cole. Dr. Crowter, do we need full gear? Mm hmm Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage, feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry, not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Arty to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you two. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator! Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, if any. What the hell am I doing here? Everyone's in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Oh, it's just Andrew Andrew Bot. Bot. Stop! Androbot, stop! Hated Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm gonna examine him now. Temperature normal. Pulse too. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Excuse me. Yasna, can you hear me? Astrogator. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. You didn't have it easy. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear. Do I understand correctly that the doctor's life is not in imminent danger? That's my initial diagnosis, yes. Yet no response to verbal communication? None. Conclusions, doctor? Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Up until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any mental disorders. And there were no visible injuries. So, I... 
test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane from the atmosphere? No. Methane poisoning causes different symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lander. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Kremlin. Okay. What should I do? Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing. Not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowter kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. You followed those deposits of metal. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broke. Touche, sir. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. All right. Now for the robot. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowter. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Hmm. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. <sighs> what about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? Right, the others. With no time to lose. Exactly. All right, you tin bastard. One more time.
Once more, status. <laughs> Bad piece of junk. No. No point in going back this way. Found the area marked by Dr. Crowther. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. You can send hopper, sir. I seem to have gone too far. I can see the field markings that Dr. Gorski left behind, and haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area as well. But before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here, let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Hmm, right. Anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. I'm going back. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but it... Got someone. I'm following the signal. on the ground. It's a journal. Geological cross-section? Measurements? These are Merritt's notes. Oh, she must be somewhere close. We searched the entire area thoroughly. Signals coming from a castle from the backpack. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. She's here. I found her. 
What's her condition? Merit, wake up. Wake up. Do you hear me? Dr. Merritt? No. No vital Thank functions. You. What's going I need on? Two. One. Two. Three. Come on. One. Two. Please give me a minute. Of course. Everything will be fine. All fine. I think so. You should be close. Do you think? Let's not assume the worst. You'll find it, Doctor. Alive. I'm sure about that. Someone's here. for a second, Doctor. What's his current state? Checking. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Kovel? Kovel? His eyes are so empty. Just like Crouch's. Kovel! What the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crouch's? He's calm. Calmer. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Yasna. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Cobble on board, I want you to do something. Yasna. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. It's everywhere. In pieces. <sighs> Not good. Cobble was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. I'll go over them, but it may take a while. Huh. Have you found it? No, it's uh, nothing about Dr. Gorski. Ah. Found them. Surprisingly accurate. He wrote down Gorski's every step. Great. Let's get Koval to the evacuation area. Can you carry him, Doctor? <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in 1G. But the gravity here should make things a tad easier.
When you're there, put Dr. Cole in the seat. I'll connect to the central monitor the Mander's antenna. Haven't you rebooted yet? No, not quite. But it will work now. The land is already descending. I'm trying to not go crazy here. Yeah, understandable. It's madness, really. Incomprehensible through and through. Especially what happened to our people. Sir! Yeah, right. My apology. See you up there. Only Gorski's left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. Any progress? Oh, we dig as far as the terrain and out. It will take a while. Regis, come in. Status report. Astrogator, sir. We dug up another three cubic meters. The object exhibits remarkable structural homogeneity. All spectroscopic analysis shows similar results. Steel with tungsten and nickel alloy? That's right. With the addition of other common metals. Is there any chance of retrieving the entire object for research purposes? No, none at all. Even sonar couldn't cover the entirety of it. Instead, Dr. Gorski calibrated... Unfortunately alone. Working equipment gave me hope, but someone just abandoned it. Didn't even turn it off. And that is indeed unfortunate. We need to expand our search radius.
I should move. Oh, there's no time. signal so soon it's unlikely to be him then who you were correct sir it's just our probe it looks inactive can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal i'd say it's running in safe mode please try to power it on do we have time for this it's for a good reason doctor the probe could prove useful in the search and besides you'll see okay i'm opening the probe Turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it, and then turn the dial again. Now go ahead. Slide records? Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure. But as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. A photo of the first days on the surface. They started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. They reported as much. Wasn't until the fourth day the comms failed. I recognize these structures. This is where they began to dig. Twelve hours passed. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. followed him and he followed the detectors readings going after those metal structures yes that's what I meant what's next last slide there's mostly noise nothing in particular stands out to you doctor they were digging and suddenly poof people are dead no need to shout astrogator I'm just letting you know what I see that's all uh, hang on an absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Still high in the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal. of seconds but there's there's nothing except dunes sand a few rocks a shadow a shadow another sandstorm i guess all right doctor let's move on you may turn on the fuses now we'll take the probe with us Got it 
on my radar. Now I can give commands to the probe. And? What do you see? Is it working correctly? If you run it on manual steering, sir, then, then it works just fine. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. We have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. One second. No <laughs> death in the probe's memory. No ID, no nothing. You want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. Uh, I'm not really interested in naming machines. Understood. Maybe we should use the previous name. Olga. Yeah, whatever fits. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. I don't see these metal structures anywhere. The only surface structure reported was from the excavation area. The rest is underground. Please explore the area thoroughly. Just do as Dr. Gorski. Use the detector. The probe detected something. I see that in the readings. What is it exactly? Water was mentioned in the note around the third point, and I have a matching object here. Right. So, how many are left? Two points, or at least that's what he told Cobble. What he did next? It's hard to assess. Well, the battery and the detector last for only a few hours, so he couldn't have gone much further. The fourth point is a structure that fills a rock massive, on top of which he found surface structure. This. Sounds like a crucial node in this whole system. some tangible evidence that he was going this way. Ah, good. It's downhill all the way, Doctor. I wouldn't be so sure, Astrogator. The next point is at a height of approximately 100 meters. I think we have the fourth point. I confirm. It's the fourth one. I see our flag. Definitely uphill.
本か Land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations? Between Koval and Gorski? No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. Wait. Koval noted down the... Parameters? Azimus 350. A distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. Got it. I see the bushes. And the doctor? Hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Huh. It's going to be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor... <sighs> when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose a probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. I know. Hi, Olga. Lead the way. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. Hey, can it fly for this long? Yes. Longer than you can stand on your feet. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. Of course, I wasn't being serious. However helpful they may be, they're still just tools in the hand of man, often faulty. Oh, we have a problem. Something serious? I already mentioned the faulty machines, right? Well, the route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. Unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? <laughs> Can you imagine us, proteinaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? No. Not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right. You can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Have you started to fear for your position? Astrogator, you won't get rid of me that soon. No intelligent machine will take this job. Thank you. Shh. Astrogator, can you hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. 
We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, I don't know. He must be a long way from here. These bushes are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use the language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush like formations. has landed. Astrogator, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you? All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. I'm going outside. Visibility? 100%. The dust has already settled. Huh. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off, which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication Sir, with Dragonfly. Wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. I'm inside. And? How is it? Even if they wanted to, they couldn't go back to Dragonfly. Their lander looks damaged, to put it mildly. Or more accurately, it, it seems like a storm has passed through it. Understood. I mean, I don't understand how it happened. But that means... Hopper is the only vehicle that can take us home. Affirmative. Right. Well, then we can't afford another mistake. I'm taking the lander into orbit. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone.
This mission drags on oh, so much. Damn. You were right, Cobb. Sometimes I think you're gonna take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. signs of the crew? I found a cigarette bud and a pack. Someone was smoking here. So, they didn't give a damn about the regulations. Disrupting the ecosystem. That, that's not the point. I understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor. But the mission's safety is at stake. Excuse my interruption, sir. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. This way will reach the camp within an hour. So, continuing. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Preserving the integrity of Regis III's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in this scenario. Negligible, actually. This route may be faster, but it's not the easiest. Anyway, back to our conversation. structure it looks like some spiky metal growths artificial plants is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure i've never seen anything like this i wish i had time to run some tests oh i feel nauseous suddenly <laughs> that's not it i feel I guess that's a no. Breathe. What's going on, sir? Astrogator? Dr. Yasna. I'm trying to resuscitate him, but... No, no please. Koval? Dr. Krauser. How? There was nothing wrong with him. Hypervalenic shock. He bled out during the flight. I still don't understand. He wasn't hurt. His injuries must have occurred later. I found him like this when I entered Hopper. I'm saying this to let you know that I take full responsibility for the doctor's death. You left the camp on my orders. Astrogator, thank you for telling me that. But now I need some silence. Uh, of course. 
I understand. Guess I know where Gorska was going. I confirm, Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> but why hasn't he yet? Thing, sir. What did you do with Crouch's body? I placed him in a quiet chamber. Are you going to use a grave tapper? Yes. I'm considering that as a possibility. What is your opinion? Should we look into their heads? Not at all. What do you mean? I'm stuck. I'm hanging with all my weight on the rope, away from the wall. Can you go back? Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight. No, not a chance. What if you sway? I, I can just jump off. Is that safe? I think it is. You think? You shouldn't base your safety on assumptions. I am well aware of the risks. Back and rib injuries. Possible, though less likely, damage to organs within the chest. Swelling around the joints and subcutaneous hematomas. That's for sure. But my professional opinion is I'll make it through. Can't say you've reassured me, but I applaud your composure, Doctor. I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that, yes, sir. He could keep going even with injuries. Okay, this is a waste of time. You only die once. Here we go. Fractures. Please stop for a moment. Make sure you're all right. Uh, no, there's no need for a delay. We had our last contact with Regis a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. He didn't have... This place. Yes? It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Uh, maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. Are you saying that... No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. 
What's going on? Just a sec. I need to get... I need to... I need to get out. Phew. The load-bearing capacity of this place is difficult to predict. The structures literally collapsed beneath me. Ah! Ah! Again! Maybe you should use the detector. Will indicate the thickness of the structures. to the frying pan <sighs> into a hole oh damn it what is it this time take a guess sir the sinkhole uh huh Some abandoned items. What items? What do you have there? I can see the relay up close. Looks broken. Me neither. <sighs> At least his device is in working order. The telemeter. Oh, right. Yours is broken. Traces, this time handprints, and a drop detector. What did I hear right? I confirm. I found something. No one of sound mind would decide to go down this way. And yet, Gorski... position. Not yet. I 
I found his backpack. You know what that means, sir? Yes, he's without oxygen. We must hurry. Almost there. Oh, there he is. Got him. He's not moving. Closed. Is he breathing? He's alive, but barely. Did you react in any way? No, no reaction. Gorski, come on. Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe is already looking for a landing site. Okay, let me just... I'm, I'm pulling him out. Done. He's out. I activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? Uh, no point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway so that Hopper can land in this maze. Have a good scan of your surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to be there. The probe will guide you. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with the Mastrogator. You'd need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. In that case, I'll give him my tank. Negative. I won't allow it, Yasna. You freight, the Doctor won't count you. The membrane looks intact. What did you say? Hold on, Gorski. I still can't meet the doctor. Please repeat. Don't be angry, sir. But. But what? Please do it. After. Con after careful consideration, I gave Gorski my tank. We still don't know when you'll send the lander, so I, I can't leave him without oxygen. Doctor, I explicitly told you not to. Are you out in the open already? Sort of. Yes. Once you set up the transmitter, I should start receiving Gorski's signal.
فرصت Astrocator A I am underground It's hard to determine my exact location Novik Do you copy Base come in I'm sending an SOS Anyone Please Okay Stay calm Just Keep it together. Heartbeats racing. But saturation hasn't dropped below the tissue norm. Not yet, at least. Out of water. Oh, shit. I'd rather not risk it. Meteoric waters. No. <sighs> Too deep. Who's that? I can't see. Carvel, you came back for me. But how? The lander took you. Carvel, please, speak to me. to see you, Yasna. I have so much to tell you, but we don't have time. We need to get out of here as soon as possible. I'm not going anywhere in the state. I can barely stay awake, Cobble. You're stronger than this, Yasna. Besides, as long as you talk with me, you'll stay awake, won't you? Just try to get up. So much for the rescue.
Is your equipment operational? Nothing damaged? Only the flares got wet. Besides that, what have you got on you? Procedural minimum. <sighs> Telemeter, locator, metal detector. So, pretty much minimum. Ah, oh, I wonder why they don't give us proper torches. <laughs> you tell me. Time. Come on. We're fighting for our lives, Yasna. Enough of this nonsense. I I'm sick of fighting. Okay, Yasna. I'm sorry. I demand so much from you. Too much. <sighs> Say no more, Koval. Not a word. But what? Let you be alone. No, I don't think so. I'll be here with you until the end. Remember, none of this is your fault. You deserve to finally rest. Rest. Doesn't sound that bad. Like I said, I'll be here. I only wish I could somehow comfort you. All in all, it's probably not the worst. I'm getting up, okay? I knew you would find the strength. You just needed a little encouragement. Don't push it. <sighs> If you're talking about the coal deposits and the burns of prehistoric reptiles, then yes, they're further up as well. They're further up as well. What do you think that means? Well, isn't it obvious? Dinosaurs once lived on the ridges three. Are you mocking me, Koval? Not at all. Millions of years ago, this planet had to be teeming with life until something got rid of it all. At least on the land. How is it that you're always a few steps ahead of me? Easy. I walk faster. Come on. It's time to be among other people again. They're out there somewhere. I promise. I'm starting to have second thoughts. What if something's waiting for me?
shit is this? Doctor, what are you talking about? There's something here. It looks like a machine. It grind a hole in the wall. And I was marching all these kind of crab legs. Damn it. You must evacuate immediately. have a suspicion of what exactly we're dealing with. One of the flagship machines of the Alliance would match the description. Walking antimatter cannon. Antimatter. Oh, fuck. Yes, indeed. I think it's moving away from me. Excellent. Don't stop yet, then. The greater the distance between you and this machine, the better. But it doesn't look very Shit. inviting. What? I'm still here. I have to. I'm stuck. I can't move. Oh, it's coming at me. Matt, it suddenly stopped moving. It's inactive. I think so. I'll check. I guess it's busted for good. Cursed crab. Oh, the hatch fell down. Probably from the registry. Can you get the record? Let's see. You guessed right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. They even managed to set up a fill base. How could headquarters have got it so wrong? According to intelligence, the Invincible was not due to arrive for another 14 days. I guess we should ask them back home. And... That's me. Wow. It really did almost flatter me. Probe. It... It distracted the antimat. You say that as if it did it on purpose. Not much left of it. Broadcasting a while ago, so maybe we can save its core. I don't know, but when the antimat shot at it, the structures collapsed. Hot. You could say that since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. Uh, I'm sorry, Esther. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway, you're not entirely alone. to cheer me up. I'm not crying after a machine. It was a good companion, but we've been through far more serious losses. Somehow I had to pull myself together then, and I will now. It doesn't mean you're not allowed to be sad. You 
waiting for a moment, Daphne. <sighs> I can't. Not on this mission. If I fall apart now, I won't be able to pull myself back together. Okay. Hit cool down. Are you talking about the protocol? Huh. Well, they say in order to win over a person, you have to steal their heart. But the key is to get their brain. You know that's just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. Oh, not good. You simply can't get a break. What is it this time? Stormfront is approaching your location. Now of all times. I know, Doctor. But please muster up a little more strength. Let's not forget that the Alliance is in the vicinity. Wait a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Since I'm nearby their troops. It's hard to call them specific. We need to learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. I, I don't know what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. I'm really sorry. What? His readings. No. No, don't finish. That, that's impossible. You did absolutely everything you could. Unfortunately, sometimes even that's not enough. I did nothing. Just nothing. By the way, how are you feeling? I... Oh, damn it. The storm's getting worse. I mean the lack of your oxygen tank. So, how are you feeling? <laughs> No bad. Astrogator. I found their vehicle. A transport? No. A rover. There isn't a living soul here. Make sure. Please take a look around. There's a chance of an oxygen tank around here. Somewhere. Oh, why didn't I think of that myself? You're absolutely right. We'll find the rest of the kids in the back of the book. Right. Thank you. And started. Then what are you waiting for? Leave this cursed place. Are you driving? How are the conditions? Damn! Right in front of me! Stay calm. Even if he hits the 
the rover directly, you'll come out unscathed. The vehicle is a kind of Faraday cage. Energy will flow through the body of the vehicle, discharge into the ground, without going inside. I hope I'm not bothering you with my rambling. Some people find comfort in listening. Right. And I'm going to shut up now. I remember a mission on EB-5. At that time, I was still a coordinator, but the crew was quite similar. Chemist, cyberneticist, a doctor, uh, engineer, and Simple reconnaissance mission. But there was a miscalculation and crashed the rocket. There, we put it back together. <laughs> For whatever was on hand, it's quite a machine. A true Frankenstein monster, so to speak. Even more terrifying were the creatures we found on the surface of Eden. Oh, wait. Creatures. You are making this up, aren't you, sir? Not at all. I was indeed on a mission to Eden. However, I might have exaggerated a bit. trouble finding the right way you've got to head southwest how am i supposed to know where southwest is i don't have a compass remember the city attracts lightning so the fuel i'm running into a cave the storm has subsided uh, that's not it i left the structures behind it's an ordinary rock formation. Even better. You have to catch your breath eventually. Come out for one thing. Could you find the model number of the rover? Uh, what for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Uh, Emmett 2001. Could that be it? Uh, let me see. Emmets are equipped with a black box. Please find it. Don't know if this can help, but the Alliance label's black. I have the box, but it's all locked up. Really? Uh, they must have changed the equipment because I have no information about the key. Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? And anyway, it doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. I need to think. You will have cable access. Look for something resembling a socket in that plug. I think I have something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. Uh, press it. Won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. <sighs> same guts, hey? Just like with humans. In. Just a moment. Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can finally rest. It'll take me a while to do for all the records.
the rover was connected to a base. The one from the flight? Uh, most probably. On the other channels, all I hear is static. The storm must be causing interference. No one is transmitting from the base. I'd suggest you lie down. The storm is raging. <sighs> I'm going to sleep now. Wait, Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and encryption key. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. Olga? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now. Waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... Oh, there's only static on this channel. And again? There's only static on this channel. And again? Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are... Oh, the next is... Silence. I have to try again. The first three digits of the cipher are... Oh, the next is... Nothing. Dead silence. I have to try again. The first three digits of the cipher are... The next is... Nothing. Dead silence. I have to try again. The first three digits of the cipher are... Oh, the next is... Nothing. Dead silence. I have to try again. The first three digits of the cipher are... The next is... Yes, sir? I'm here. Well done. That should buy us some time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. Let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. It should be safer outside its perimeter. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. I'm going then. No need for further delay. Agreed. I'll let you know when I'm out of the city for good. Very good. I'll be on standby.
Gator. I think I've gone far enough. There is a vast open area in front of me. The city is no longer visible. We need to decide what to do next. Dragonfly, over. Are you there? Yes, yes, please excuse me. As in the infirmary. Is the coast clear? Yep, all clear. Good. Give me a moment. I'm looking at the satellite images. Have you checked on Koval, by any chance? Yes, among other things. And? How is he? He's stable. But? There are no buts, Doctor. You'll see him soon. All right, I've got it. Sector AZ-25... Let's say AZ-2504. Please check if it's fit to land. said it looks good clear opening flat terrain excellent please go there while i prepare the lander i'll just pack arty inside so that's it you're taking me to the dragonfly we're flying away from here for good we have no other choice doctor at this stage of the mission we can only minimize losses you understand that don't you Yes, sir. Please remember, we have just one lander left. As a commander, I must first ensure your safe return. Only then I'll send Artie with other tasks. The lander taken off? Yes, a second ago. Threshold of 18,000. The line's breaking up. Can you hear me? What's happening? I've lost control of the lander. Do you see it? Uh, just a sec. I have to get off. <sighs> it, it hasn't yet pierced a cow cover. smoke but considering the speed it hit the ground up I, I... I don't understand how it happened i checked it thoroughly it's fully functional couldn't have been an accident i don't believe it i'm gonna check what's left of it Sir, can 
you hear me, Novik? I don't give a shit. You finished, Doctor? Did it help? A bit. a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. at a time. left of Artie. Ah, good. So there's a chance we can extract key information from it. Somehow it still looks active. Ask him what happened to the land I Ask? He doesn't speak. But he gives yes or no signals. Give him the analysis command. Formulate questions in such a way so that he can confirm or deny. Artie, question analysis command. Did the lander fly into a storm? He can't give a definitive answer. Huh. Something like a storm. But a shade? Cloud. Oh, 
Oh, he confirmed. What does it tell us? I don't know yet. Damn. It shorted out. So, what now? Then you must go to the Alliance camp. I wanted to avoid it at all costs, but we have no choice. This is your only chance. Damn planet. I bet the Alliance is sick of it too. Let's hope so. And I don't say this out of hostility. If they were in trouble, they might be more cooperative. They're approaching their coordinates. Yes, now. Yes? Even if you're absolutely right and this planet is to blame, that doesn't make the Alliance our allies. We must be careful when dealing with them. First, observe them from a distance, and only then take action. Yes, I'm still here. I'm just weighing my options. For starters, I would suggest hiding the vehicle somewhere. Hey, what was that? I've set up a warning signal. Now you're near enough that they can see the rover. Bases in front. Yes, sir, I'm not kidding. If you don't stop, I'll do it for you. For me? I wonder how some object is flying over their base. It's a field base, multi module, for about several dozen people. Rather well equipped. Huh. There's lots of transporters here. I'm not surprised. Missions with a large crew, transport modules were an integral part of the field camp. Remind me, how many crew members were they supposed to send on the Invincible? Over a hundred. Great. I should move. Oh, there's no time. <sighs> I've seen enough. Can I go on? The longer I put it off, the more nervous I get. All right, I'll no longer stop you. We'll most likely lose contact soon, so let me be clear. Won't be easy to gain their trust. Things can go wrong, even if you can prove that you came to them of your own free will. If there's an escalation, remember one thing. I'll do everything in my power to negotiate your safe return to the Commonwealth. Worst case scenario, we'll opt for a prisoner exchange. Until then, please cooperate with them. 
and during the interrogation, don't resist. Astrobiologists generally do not possess information that's sensitive to the Commonwealth. At worst, you'll give away the details of our last mission. Of course, it'd be better if that didn't happen. But I know their methods of interrogation, and in all fairness... How odd. What? There's no one here. Nobody. Impossible. Hero. <laughs> I'll try not to, Astrogator. What have I got to lose anyway? Your life, Doctor. <sighs> I'm going in. Clear. For now? I can't hear anyone either. Moving on. I'm at the central module, in the headquarters. You walked in, just like that? Yeah, the doors were open. Unbelievable, just unbelievable. I have a record of their mission. Each step, location, units, including dates. I'm all ears. Day Zero, landing place. Their main ships in sector AQ-28. Be principal. They didn't move it. Huh. Seems so. I'll try to track it down. Please tell me what else is in there. On the 24th day, they sent a convoy north to the sector. Oh! To the sector where I found Gorski. You suspect they went after him? In the end, they sent a convoy to a neighboring sector. So, that was their last move? Well... There's no information about their return. Maybe I'll find them there. Highly probable. Do you know what the current day of their mission is? They left on the 25th day. That's all I know. Well, I can't back out now. I have to follow them. Well, it's your decision. Although I admit I'm also starting to wonder what you'll find. People, Astrogator, they must be somewhere. I'm sending a satellite. Soon I'll have an image of the area where the ship landed. We'll see if the Invincible's still there. I'll continue to search their base. They conducted research and during excavations found... You won't guess. Metal structures. So we had no chance to outrun them. Yeah. And they were already at an advanced stage of work. So Before we setting up this orbit. base, they were stationed not far from here. But seemed very determined to reach this area. They dug a vast system of tunnels. When did they finally get here? Oh, like us, they became interested in the ocean. They got there on the seventh day. <sighs> Quite late. Guess they weren't in a hurry. They've got a device for intercepting alarm signals. There isn't much of it. Single record. He's dead. Poor guy. Waited for over a day. Until his heart couldn't take it anymore. Interesting. The coordinates changed... Uh, upwards. One, eight, five, six, one... Seven, five, four. Yeah, it's Gorski. I'm sorry. How is it possible? You said... You lied to me. Yes, I had to. My oxygen bought him time, and for what? 
He only suffered longer. Why didn't you let me turn back for him? Please understand that sometimes I have to make difficult calls. I'm not supposed to burden my subordinates with such decisions. I know you were trying to protect me. I know. But do not act as though what you did was justified. You had no right to hide the truth. It was up to me to decide if I was willing to risk my life. I know you, Doctor. You wouldn't leave Gorski even if his chances of survival were marginal. In the end, you would both die. Maybe. <sighs> Probably. By now, though, you should tell me the truth, Novik. <sighs> Force fills down. I open the passage. We can follow the convoy route now. When you're ready, Doctor. One more minute, and our satellite will be over this ship. Now we're lucky. Clouds are low. looking mm -hmm. not here either ah bingo yes found it they're still on the planet didn't fly away good to know thank you I'm leaving the base, going after the convoy. I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just... takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together.
status? Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. Something new. A saucer. If it's operational, it could be my chance to leave this planet. Yes, it can work. I'll assist you if needed. Yeah, I'm climbing it. I really hope it starts. So one of the robots moved away from the perimeter. It stands all by itself. On a distant hill. It's active, I guess. Doesn't it know how to get back? I've driven into a side location. They were very active here, too. Obtaining research material from the walls surrounding the valley. out blocks of rock. Are they performing geological research? Well, nothing, really. At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Huh? Right. Thank you. Not necessarily. In these blocks, there are inorganic objects. Solid, metal, sharp-edged lumps.
Jasper? Everything's all right? Yes. Yes. I just need a moment to think. Uh, as soon as you find something... I'll report it. No worries, sir. got to the place where they were digging. It's hard to miss. They set up a huge machine at the center. It must weigh hundreds of, no, thousands of tons. The ship that brought all of this must be... Gigantic, yes. Invincible surpasses any of our units, even the largest orbital stations. In my opinion, it's a bit excessive. Oh, well, for me, it's quite impressive. That was exactly their goal, to impress. Such giants aren't very practical, though. I would even say that the larger the ship, the bigger the problems. Astrogator, I've already covered most of the convoy route. I'm entering a more enclosed area. A ravine, to be precise. I see. Can I count on a tactical report? Of course. A simple analysis of the situation won't hurt anyone. Hmm. That's for sure. rather keep going and stop for a pointless reconnaissance. The tactical report is that I'll be at their location in a few minutes, and then I'll find out whether they're still there. It's a rather modest tactical report, but I won't insist. Please keep going. I'm nearing the destination. From now on, I'll be on foot. Good. It's better to approach with caution. Uh, actually, I don't have a choice. The road is blocked. Radiation level is rising rapidly. Yes, now be careful. The radiation. There are other people. Just watch yourself. Saying people who are alive and mentally sound is something I'm always counting on, Astrogator. They may be my only chance. And not only mine. You have other subordinates who need help. Yes, I'm fully aware, Doctor. However, you must keep in mind that alive and mentally sound members of the Alliance are still a threat. <laughs> oh. <sighs> and there's another mobile antimatter cannon. Another one? How many of those did they... Is it active? Dead, fortunately. I admire your composure. Well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all do. Hang on, someone's here. Didn't let that thought get to me. Didn't want to. 
Finding them was my priority. It could have been just another abandoned place, not this. What exactly happened to them? Well, that's a good question. I'm not even sure what they were doing here. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. What do we have here? They were preparing for departure. The convoy is heading somewhere. Getting close to where I am now. They're here. Sent. Oh, they're tunneling. Looks like they found whatever they were. Those containers ended up in one of the. Tra oh, shame. The transport's leaving. Something's going on. Next slide. People rushing up. One of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel. There's nothing else. Oh. Total panic. The second antimat. That's what destroyed it. People. It's firing directly at the crew. Shooting them. One by one. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has. Hiding from it made no difference. One of them's raising his hands. He's surrendering. Only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. It, it killed him. Oh, fuck. Yes, no? It's. Uh, nothing. I just ran out of slides. It didn't sound like, oh, fuck, end of slides. I know you, Yasna. You're watching your tongue. Not so thoroughly as of late, but still. The slides are finished. With me on the last one. What? You're telling me the machine that massacred those people is still operational? Ready to rise and obliterate you from the face of this planet? Don't want to sound cocky, but it uh, looks like it. And I can't do a damn thing. Anything. That's just fucking great. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Uh, right. So? I'll go check it out. I know you will, yes. Proceed. I can hear a rhythmic, metallic sound. Coming from beyond the tunnel. I can't, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio is breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. It's an Arctan coming at me. Inside the cave. Yes, can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Ah, uh, I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, Yasna. You need to rest. No. No. I'm better now. Why? Right. Can you tell me what's in there? This robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. There's 
nothing here I haven't seen before. Just a lot of metal bushes. Same as the ones near our camp. Oh, another body. No, this body's different. There's no visible injuries. Then what is the cause of death? Uh, I don't know. It could be anything. Sepsis, internal bleeding, organ failure. Oh, I won't examine him now. Ah, my head is killing me. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Little bushes growing out of metal soil. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them as I understand, appear to grow on the rock. But deep down, their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are, how to put it, fruitless. <laughs> so the Alliance came to pick the fruits. Can you please check them, Yasna? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal... Then I'll use the detector. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. I'm pretty sure the box is filled with research material. Those fruits. Hmm. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. I'll come closer first. Matches. There's metal all around, and the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm, interesting. Sounds similar. To the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's. It looks like two generations. One old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes. Grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? I simply use terminology I'm familiar with. But we can't talk about life here. For me, it's a virus. A parasite on this planet. I would never classify viruses as living organisms. Now, there are theories that we humans have a common ancestor. Parasites. An RNA particle. That's true. However, we can function on our own. It's not easy, but we can. Viruses, on the other hand, need to come into contact with what science calls life in order to activate. Yeah, there isn't really any evidence of it, is there? Correct. It truly is a phenomenon. Active parasites on a planet housing nothing but scrap metal. disappeared. It must have broken its loop. I didn't. 
Now he must have done something. Never mind. We'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Ah, I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. Good. Please follow it. Decided not to shoot me after all. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all ears. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine. You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Oh, to hell with it. I can't really blame you. After all, you're the commander. It's your job to make decisions like that. And live with the consequences. Right. It means a lot to hear that from you, Yasna. Thank you. So, if I may... I would suggest watching your next steps. Uh, th there were no more anti mats on the slides, sir. I'm afraid that's not the only threat around, aren't you? <sighs> of course I am. But I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. How we can aid them. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first anti mat told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. Should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? I, I'm in the rover. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Extremely unreasonable of them, but it's nothing to... So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slides. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research... Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Ah, uh, th there's more. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh? I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor. 
These tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise threefold symmetry, resembling the letter Y with three-pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? Navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. Huh. But why? What happened? Scout came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but... Not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out. Partially, at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field. The field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. Now, at first I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So. All the malfunctions occurred afterward. Please continue. I have nothing more. I was counting on your assessment now. What can I say? We know that prolonged exposure to electromagnetic fields may have negative effects on human health. We're talking weeks, maybe months. Those values were extreme. Please take that into account. In such cases, we should talk about severe brain dysfunctions. How severe? The vital organs stop working. So, death with no apparent cause of death. Oh, goodness. That's right. This could explain what happened to our dear Merit. And to the convoy's crew. Or some of them, at least. Damn. It could also explain Kovel and Krauter's stupor. How? Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. In extreme cases, complete erasure of memories. Reversible. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable, like a baby. They don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? It's unprecedented. All we can do now is believe that they will eventually snap out of it. And they do. Hope they won't be used as guinea pigs. We both know this is going to be difficult. Yes. And? I don't even know if I'll survive this mission. Will I see them again? Will they develop properly? Even if it all works out, we will be strangers. They won't remember us. All that's left is hope. God damn it. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'd be worth examining. Confirm, at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. I've located one of the transporters, sir. 
Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. It's too awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Now! I can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir? Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes, just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects, and the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are persuading yourself to define it as a life form? I haven't changed my mind. I still see it as an unusual phenomenon. Though now, I consider it far more dangerous than before. It's not life, no. It's quite the opposite. Destruction. A virus at best. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. Well, I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Uh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you're looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. Ah, got it. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet.
this mission drags on so much. Sometimes I think you're going to take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck, indeed. Come Registry could be valuable. Ruby? Especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Oh, that didn't work. It flew away. Is it scared of you, too? <sighs> I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. <sighs> I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Energobot, Turning off the force field, then transporter. Departure. All clear? All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Is the probe still with you? Yes, it's around here. Somewhere. Legs feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. problem disabled <laughs> oh. uh, 
Just as I thought. The equipment's still active, but... Everyone here's dead. I'm climbing onto the hovering transporter. Before you leave, though, please check that the cargo is intact. really help our people, Astrogator. It will, I'm sure. So, what? Off we go? Yes, uh, what are you wondering about? Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. Now you'll have a lot of time to think about it. Now we have to check if you'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course, I'm on it. Although, first... I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Watching them, nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn black hole has opened in the strength of Can you say not to worry? Just look outside, Doctor. See for yourself.
capturing it. I don't know if I should interrupt your, uh, speech, sir. It is quite interesting to listen to. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is too much. <sighs> I'll ask you how many times already. Uh, the fourth time, if I counter correctly. But I'm not planning another. <laughs> the first four weren't planned either. At least we learnt the truth about this planet. ...and the inorganic beings that inhabit it. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure Koval. If anyone from the Alliance survived... ...and they already started their research into a cure... I wouldn't count on it. It's more likely they're all dead. Not necessarily. It's a large base, and I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. Or you'll find more corpses, Yasna. Hey! Something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. You mean it flew away, or did it fall to the ground? Oh, I hope it's a latter. If it caught the west wind, it would have fallen in this area. We're lucky. It's hanging from a cliff, close to the ground. Can you get to it? Unhook it. Maybe that won't be necessary. Seeing his dots on the tracker. No. I can see them with my own eyes. Two of them, even. Two people. Alive. Huh? Where did they go? Have you lost them? Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Are you sure? What did they look like? One was wearing an Alliance suit. A green one. The other one... I don't know. He looked different. I see. And now they are nowhere to be found. Damn right. Doctor. I know what I saw. Two people alive. Some of them survived. And you're going to look for them? Yes. I'm glad we understand each other, sir. I suggest focusing on what's certain. That balloon is still there, is it not? If it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't have to convince me, Astrogator. I'm going. The rover is nearby if needed. Good to know. Thank you. How are you feeling? Quite all right. I had you worrying again, didn't I? Well, please don't mind me. I won't turn grey a second time in my life. You know what, sir? It was his eyes from the very beginning. What do you mean? My accident, for example. It, it's true, I, I hurt myself badly back then. Damaged a radio. But that's not why I lost my memory. Soon after... Flies flew from the bushes. Right. There were bushes there, too. They subjected me to an electromagnetic field. Moreover, I believe the same thing happened to our people in the camp. To the antimat in those tunnels. And to the whole convoy? Yes.
getting close to this fallen balloon. <laughs> ah, what's so funny? Uh, oh, nothing, sir. It's just, in my mind, it sounded like, like the title of some Renaissance painting. The Fallen Balloon of Regis. <laughs> yes, exactly. I found the recorder. The Fallen Recorder of Regis. <laughs> Please stop. From the top. Let's see. The 25th day of the mission. Morning. The balloon goes up. You can see the immediate surroundings of the base. They're operating at full capacity. The base is active. Ah. I didn't see that from below. They parked several vehicles on top of a nearby hill. It found some water reservoirs. Many of them. Huh. The balloon is moving away from the base. Which direction? Approximately south. Rocks, water, sand. Anything noteworthy? No, not really. No people, units, nor significant changes in the surroundings. The balloon's completing its loop. It seems quieter at the base. But there's still a few people. Two vehicles that weren't there before. They're grouping up. A dozen people gathered in the square, next to the vehicles. Oh, they've left. There are no vehicles. There's no one. They must have set off towards their old base. Or to the ship. But why didn't they wait for the convoy to return? Maybe they didn't know the others were in trouble. Doubtful. It was after the clouds attack. Well then, apparently that's how the Alliance treats its people. Lousily, without dignity. The subsequent shots are similar to each other. They show an empty base. There are actually quite a few of these. Oh. It captured the moment I entered the base. And it's empty again. At two o'clock in the afternoon. I was on my way to the convoy by then. So we won't find out anything else. Wait! You're wrong. Someone was in the base. A man. So he's real after all. I knew it. I told you. That you did. Please forgive my doubt. But where is this man now? And can we expect any more? I think he's near the base. Judging by the last slide, the Alliance must have a hideout there. And we need to go back, I guess. still the same conviction in me. I think people can be more dangerous and deceitful than anything else we may encounter on our journey. I know that. Sometimes I think the presence of humans is the worst thing that happened in space. In the mouth. Because I also believe in human goodness. The selfless desire to help others. I can't believe otherwise. 
all my efforts would be meaningless. I don't know whether to envy you or to worry even more. I should move. Oh, there's no time. I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. near the base, within range of the control center. Uh, affirmative. And? Do you expect me to rummage through the enemy's equipment? Again? Well, in my opinion, the more we learn while delaying our encounter with the Alliance, the better. So, what will it be, Doctor? The probe isn't that important. I've seen enough of their slides. I know enough. Probe is no longer flying. Which probe? The first one. The one that patrolled the base. You didn't mention it, Doctor. So the probe landed. Or someone brought it down. I could have spent countless days in this base. The record has been emptied. And still not discovered their There's hideout. no data. It's completely clean. Should have checked it right away. Now we'll never know what it recorded. Yeah. I'm fully aware. But it doesn't matter anymore. Because you want to talk to the Alliance, don't you? They're the best source of information, Astrogator. I know what's on your mind, sir. I could have been under surveillance ever since I arrived here. Don't turn off your tracker. Maybe it'll give you a slight advantage before meeting them.
status? Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. Well, nothing, really. At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Huh? Right. to climb without safety equipment. This is nowhere to be seen. No alternative route? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm, I'm all right. I'm almost there. Perhaps it's the last moment to go back. And do what? As far as I remember, we've run out of options here. It's just, if I were you... With all due respect, Astrogator, it is me being stuck on this surface. So if you let me, I'll take my chances. And I will... I will find the man. That view... It made the climb worth it already. So you're on top? Yes. Activity within radius? I heard no beeps. I see no dots. <gasps> Shit! How? What? I found him. Very well. Now keep your distance and be careful. It's too late. What? I can't hear you. It's too late to keep... Yasna, what is it? Why is it too late? Yasna, speak to me. He's looking for others. He's... <laughs> you. What have you done? Shit! He found you too. Why? And he's blaming us. What did it gain you? That's not good. Listen, I don't know what you're blaming me for. Get up. I said get up. Need to be afraid. I, I come in peace. Oh, save it. I guarantee you'll have time to talk later. What? A... Just keep your mouth shut for your own good. Okay, stay calm. He's going to lead you to his superiors, which is good in theory. to unleash such murderous shit. Hey, don't turn around. You're a scientist, just like me. Yes, now what are you doing? You don't shoot at people. Shoot? He has a gun. I'm a technician, <sighs> smartass. Firearms or chemical weapons, what's the difference? Same outcome. 
I know that people have died. Your comrades. But you have to understand. Huh. I see you're no longer pretending. Listen, you'll stand before the Astrogator or the entire Council. That's right. It's safe. really not necessary. But if you try anything, I'll do it. I'll shoot you. Yasna, I don't know what you're trying to do, but he sounds serious. Take it easy, please. I'll handle him. Huh? What are you babbling on about? You have a death wish. Only short answers from now on. I'll ask the questions and you'll answer with a short yes or no if you think it's safe to do so. Or some code. Maybe grunts. Do you understand? Uh-huh. Good, good. Is there anyone else? Uh-uh. Okay, leave it, Yasna. Let's focus on something else. Uh, do you want to tell me something about this man? Something about his appearance, maybe? <sighs> Start, damn it. Uh-huh. Does it concern his outfit? Uh-huh. Which part? Legs? Uh-huh. It's about the legs? Nuh-uh. Uh, I must have misheard. Let's try again. Does it concern... When it rains, it pours, huh? Legs? Uh -huh. All right, got it. Yes, I caught that one before. I'll keep in mind that there's something special about him that you can see and that I cannot hear. But what exactly, I don't know. It works. Let's go. Break time's over. I can hear something's happening. Do you think you could ask? Where are you taking me? You came here yourself. So what are you expecting, huh? So, you want to lock me up in a dark cave and keep me there for who knows how long? Oh, relax, not too long. Our people will be here any moment now. in there. Sit here. I don't you dare move. I have something for you. That's even more than we need. too. What about our friend? Still cranky? Uh, I've always thought the speleologists weren't exactly the funny types. Although, Spliscus the speleologist sounds pretty damn hilarious. Come on, you must be hungry.
for Spliss, Gus. I'll pass for now. Wouldn't be able to swallow anything anyway. Spliss, Gus, my friend. It's just me. Take it easy. You're safe. But you have to eat something. To have strength. Oh, gee. Don't do that. It's tasty. Eat. Come on. Eat. Did you like it? Very nice. A few more. Unfortunately, I don't have any good news. I've searched the caves. I know Dr. Magdov went down there. If only you could tell me which cave she worked in. Maybe it would be easier then. If only you could. Without a trace, I don't even know where to look. And the whole convoy crew. I'll go there tomorrow. Maybe by then, with reinforcements. And it went smoothly. They objected so much. Endor, comrade. Don't be fooled. She's not our friend. She's responsible for all this. You don't know who I am, and you don't listen. And she's lying, too. Sorry, I need to restrap you. I'll be broadcasting. Mind your own business. Hello, Bridge. Rohitra speaking. <sighs> Rohitra. Can you hear me? Over. You're still not getting through. This is an urgent announcement. It's the 26th day of the mission, 1300 hours, 42 minutes. I am reporting the presence of Commonwealth units on the surface of the planet. I have arrested one person. It's a woman. Unarmed. I haven't noticed any other people or other units nearby, but this person was in active radio contact. I'm requesting backup. Over and out. Hey, Milos. Hope you're still in range. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, uh, a woman. I doubt that she's alone, but I didn't see anyone else. I see what you're doing. Uh, I just want her to sit more comfortably. Yeah, sure. Better get comfortable with discomfort. We'll sit around for a while. My name's Yasna. Mm, not that I'm asking. You're Rahitra, right? <clears throat> I work as an astrobiologist. <laughs> A spy. Don't eavesdrop on me, Yasna. Don't talk to me. I, I just wanted to ask. Don't ask. <laughs> uh, so what now? Uh, talk to the wall? I'm not prohibiting you from doing that. Yet. Uh, are you shielding yourself from the flies? Uh, from what? Flies. Y you named them that yourself. I mean, the Alliance did. Mm. Seems to me that the commanding staff will have a lot to talk to you about. Fortunately, I don't have to. You've been camping here long? Do you have air filters here? <sighs> 
Did you know there's methane in the atmosphere? I know. These tanks are a temporary solution. I suppose you often go out for supplies. Ugh. You won't stop talking, will you? Well, there's nothing else to do on this wretched planet. <laughs> True that. We've been waiting for backup for more than a day. They should be here soon. So I advise you not to have any stupid ideas. A day? N not a month, or even two. Why would I lie to you? You were the one who wanted to talk, not me. But that can't be true. You are rather... <laughs> unkempt. Men wear beards, you know. Uh, wait. Condor? Condor what? You. Are you from Condor's crew? Yeah, so? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Here we can agree. You're talking complete nonsense. What do you mean? How come that's such a revelation? The Invincible was supposed to be here soon. Not Condor. Not now. Where did you get this information from? From intelligence. There you go. Will you finally admit what you were up to here? I'm from the Dragonfly, a small research unit. We're looking for planets with rich flora and fauna. That's the only reason we landed here. <laughs> no way. This planet is a complete corpse. According to estimations, it should be teeming with life. With its atmospheric composition and insulation, it should be a veritable paradise. We couldn't have predicted that- Fine, fine. If you don't want to tell me the whole truth, then don't. But do not lie. Intelligence is not interested in flowers and bees. Uh, do you smoke? I would if I hadn't run out. Here. Oh, lambs. That's a good brand. <laughs> Coval always smoked them. Sorry, but I wasn't lying. We're just scientists who've had awful luck. Uh huh. Our intelligence, your intelligence. Our orders, your orders. It's all gone to hell, Rahitra. Now we need to focus on the people. I know what's wrong with them. Should I expect them here? Your people? I'm the only one left on the surface. The astrogator stays in the orbiting dragonfly, and there's no contact with the rest. If you lie, you only harm them. Several dozen of our men set off when we lost to Condor. If they find more Commonwealth spies, they may be less sympathetic than I am. I'm telling you this for the last time. I didn't lie. All right, all right. Let's change the subject. When was the last time you had something to drink? The last time? I don't even remember. Thought so. It's water. Local, but treated. Go ahead. You must be thirsty after everything you've been through. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, I needed that. <sighs> Me too. I've been silent for nearly two whole seconds. Very funny. Do you really know what's wrong with them? I know what caused it. And how. This planet is inhabited by microbots. That your scientists have called flies. Millions of microbots. A real cloud. What? A cloud of flies, which can literally erase the human mind. Wash away all memories. That sounds... Can you prove it somehow? I could, if you released me. Nice try. We'll do as follows. Mark 10 will watch over you, and I'll keep an eye out for Milos. As soon as he returns with help, you will show us this cloud. Mark 10, come to me. Supervisory procedure. One person, a woman. No Alliance ID. Targeted. I confirm. 
Should I start the surveillance? Yes, guard our guest. Oh, great. Escaped. Novik? Oh, I forgot. Astrogator, are you there? I escaped him. Doctor, what a relief. Where exactly are you? I'm near their hideout. Though I intend to change that as soon as possible. There? Have you met Spluskus and Lendl? Yet. How do you know their names? I've intercepted the Alliance's communications. Keep going. We'll discuss everything on the way. The path along the cliff looks much safer. I think I can get down here. Good. Proceed. Yatna, I have to ask. What happened in the last few hours? That man... He didn't hurt you, did he? I was sitting on my ass. Guarded by Rahitra and his Arctan. I'm numb as hell. Other than that, I'm fine. What do you make of this man? What kind of person is he? <sighs> Typical Alliance member. He's got a big mouth and won't listen to reason. Didn't even want to know what I had to say to him. Then we need a new plan. Ah, uh, yeah. Seems so. Although I could use some rest. Oh, it was a rough day. A night. For a couple of days, actually. Sorry, Doctor, <sighs> but you'll have to get away from there first. I think I know where to go. There's a hole from an antimatter beam on the other side of the canyon. Very well. Perhaps you can find out where the Invincible landed. Oh, I didn't tell you the most important thing. Condor's here. On this planet. Condor? Yes. Looks like HQ got it all mixed up. Both the arrival time and the ship itself. What? That's unbelievable. How could the intelligence be so wrong? As soon as we return, I'll break them. We don't have a better plan. I want to go there. To Condor? Yes. Their scientists had the equipment and time that we don't have. But they could have discovered something important. Unless they flew away. I'm in the tunnel. Can you hear me? You're cutting out a bit, but it's not that bad. In future, please report any communication difficulties to me in advance. Try. 
has a rover. Do you mean had, Doctor? Well, well. You've never made jokes like that before, sir. I'm just glad you're fine. And that I'll rob that alliance prick, huh? Maybe. A little. Let's go. No idea. Rahitra didn't tell me anything about it. Report it. No worries, sir. tracks on so much. Sometimes I think you're gonna take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. Driven to the place where they were stationed before they set up the base. Do you want to stop? Mm. Okay. Maybe I'll find something worthwhile. Are they still working? Yes. I wonder. 
there for how long? Sometimes I think we don't stand a chance. What are you talking about? About us, Astrogator. Humans. Biological organisms. All this so-called life is so fragile. Compares to the lifelessness of machines. So you found more bodies? One. Is it Milos? Using an open Clearing channel to broadcast. Over. How's it going? Are you receiving this, Astrogator? Affirmative. Milos, what do you think? What's gonna happen now? I have no idea. I've never seen anything like this before. Perhaps the higher-ups can do something. Hey! Hey, Marl! Sit down! Uh, I wish we had secured them better. But back to the matter. Have you found anyone else? One working arc camp so far. Several probes also seem to... People, Rehetra. Only people matter. I know. The arc camp will help me look for them. I'm going away for a while. I stopped at the old excavations. I'll look for Pepstar. All right. I'll check the base again. Over and out. Rehetra, come in. I'm moving on. About Pepstar. There's nothing we can do for him anymore. Over now. Hey, Milos. I hope you're still within reach. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, a woman. She was talking to someone on the radio, but I didn't see anyone around. Them. I've already broadcast to the base. Come back soon. I'm closing the channel. Talk to you later. Okay, I think that's enough sightseeing for me. If Milos kept going... So should I. Agreed. a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it.
time. There's a problem. I'm listening. The route they took is blocked by a force field. There must be an Energo bot somewhere. But I don't know if I can get to it. Maybe you can go around the field. I'll check. Although... It's pretty narrow here. The route is blocked all the way across. Boulders are blocking the way. So even if I turn the force field off, we still can't proceed. Even if I find a way, I'll have to continue without the rover. Uh, oh, wait! A transporter! They're here. It's standing still, in front of the force field. Is that Milos convoy? I'll confirm soon, but yes, someone most likely. Side. More than one. Two. And they're all in the transporter? Ready yourself for the worst, Doctor. I am ready. I'm going in. Well, actually, I'm squeezing in. Still, no one here. Ah, they must be in the back. Moment of truth. Ah, it's on. Get the door open. Not exactly. The inner door is still locked, and the outer door is just shut. I repeat, now all doors have... Wait! The back door opened. Oh. No. What? what this vehicle. It? It's a coffin, sir. A mass grave. They were all crammed in here. In the heat and darkness. With no chance of understanding what's going on. Terrible death. I'm sorry you have to see that. The number of registers, 428. Playing in broadcast mode. You found more of those? No. It started automatically. Hello. Can't do it. This is Rose Citrus busy. It's day 26. Those the longest few steps I've walked in my entire life. Have you noticed anything? Astrogator, please spare me. They're all dead. And they died in such a gruesome way. I'm not talking about that. The recordings. It's playing over and over, I know. It, it's jammed. The thing is, it's not the same recording. He says the same thing over and over again. The same dates, times, but they're different recordings. Oh, shit. So he is losing his memory too. Just like me. Yes, but it sounds much more serious. You recall everything. And in his case, the memories don't come back. If all these recordings have the same content... He's been here for far too long. Far too long not to receive help from Condor. Damn. You're right, Doctor. Nobody will come. I'm afraid there's not a soul here on this damned planet. Except for the three in the cave. Yes, ma'am. I have a request. I'm listening. Let's skip listening to the rest of the recordings. Can you stop them? No way. I'm not going back there. Well, let's change the channel, then. One notch up. That's okay. All right. Talk to you in a second. Ah. Uh, much better. Agreed. Astrogator, someone's firing distress flares from near the hideout. Do you think it's Rahitra? Who else could it be? Did he realize I ran away? No. He broadcast the radio message, but didn't say a word about you. As if nothing had happened. Oh. It means I see the hill. I'll be there in a minute. Please slow down. Remember, he has a gun. He didn't shoot at you the first time, but if you go in now... He won't this time as well. In any case, let's not worry in advance. I haven't located him yet. 
What about all those machines on the hill? Is there anything there he could use to threaten you? In reaction to your late night visit? Well, let's see. Given you're bringing him such devastating news, you might overreact. I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. I will not! For Hitra, for fuck's sake! Do it for Spluskus and Lendl. Not the you think it's a 26th day of the mission? Just after the attack on your base that left many of you in critical condition. But the truth is much worse. Milos left a long time ago. What? H how do you... You fell victim to that attack as well. The microbot cloud has wiped all traces of your comrades' memories. Your long-term memory is probably fine. That is, up until the moment you found them. You keep forgetting everything that comes after. I have reason to believe it happens during sleep. As a result, you relive the same day over and over, waiting for backup that will never arrive. The micro what cloud? That's bullshit! I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but... Focus, Rehitra. We've already met once. We spoke in your hideout. You've had me at gunpoint already. Tell me, where did you wake up today? On the mattress where you usually sleep? Or on the floor next to the radio? What does that have to do with anything? You see, we talked for a long time yesterday. And we fell asleep while we were sitting. The water bottle you gave me is still by the crate. Did you put it there last night? Don't mess with my head. Milos will come. Milos is dead. They're all dead. They've been lying nearby for hundreds of days. You were supposed to go and check why contact was lost. You were supposed to leave tomorrow. But tomorrow never comes. Stop it! I know that it's hard for you to believe. I'm not against you. I came back to help you. No, I'm warning you. I'll use my gun. Rahitra, I know you won't shoot me. I've been here. Good. You're finally getting to him. 428 days. At least that's how many times you've broadcast your morning message to Milos. This. this. this cloud? A result of the evolution of inorganic beings. It, it attacks the most important parts of biological organisms. Our brains. It responds to radio waves. That's how it found our crew. Damn it. Every time I broadcast, 
another time. The cloud will be here soon. Quick, lead to the hideout. Now, move! Can he get through the force field? Hey, hey! What are you trying to do? I'm done waiting. There's no need to anymore. There's no one left to look for. All that's left is revenge. Astrogator, I think he wants to fight. What the Can't you stop him somehow? You'll cause trouble for both of you. I don't think so. He's already opened the field. I see. You can't be in a joint. You have a much better chance of surviving if you stick together. Hey! Uh, you! What's your name, anyway? Yasna. I'm... Ah, uh, whatever. You know already. What's this? Are you familiar with the energy transformation of Dirac emitters? Uh... uh... Thought so. Here, take it. You can help. By shooting. I'll take care of maintaining the force field. When you aim, wait for the green light. Then you can take the shot. The device is connected to three combat machines. Okay. It sounds simple.
still keep shrinking. Do something about it, will you? Witcher, are you there? What's going on with you? to have survived. Do you? I'm not that naive. I need the Condor itself. In order to... Have the entire arsenal of our flagship at our disposal. We might be losing now, but it doesn't mean we can give up. We'll send the Cyclops out to fight. Cyclops? Uh, that's a code name for... It's more of a moniker. For an 80-ton machine with firepower exceeding all Antimates combined. We usually use it in conditions of high radiation, contamination, enormous pressures and temperatures. Due to the interference of the force field, it floats several feet above the ground. Uh, wait! Haven't you had enough? It might be time to hide and consider other options. You must be kidding. I'm not gonna sit on my ass in the dark. Now I finally know what happened? Uh, I see you're not gonna listen to me either. Because there's nothing to talk about. Look! I'm giving you a simple choice, Yasna. Are you going or not? Go where there could be water, medicine, resources, or stay here to die. Wow, such a hard choice. I hope I won't regret it. Too bad you didn't mention earlier that you had a working saucer. We could fly to Condor right away, or even into orbit. Working is a big word. It's just a tin can with a couple of sputtering engines. Controlling it technically doesn't work. Well, well. I appreciate your calmness. Just a minute. I'm waiting for the force field to shut down, which should be soon. Not here. Rehitra? He took his men to the ship. They're inside now. How do you know all this? Well, I heard him talking to them. To you. Uh, didn't he notice I wasn't responding? Yes, he did. He said he'd be back. If he expected me to wait here, he's sorely mistaken. Marvel of military. 
military technology. The hitch will waste no time. Is it attacking already? For now, he's only released a Cyclops, as they call it. The hell is he thinking? <laughs> it's floating majestic. There's one more thing, Yasna. This is important. I'll be able to confirm it in a while, but so far everything indicates... What is that, Astrogator? Headquarters were right about the Invincible. It's actually flying here. If I'm reading the message correctly, I'll be here in a few days. I'm looking for the missing Condor. And they have no idea of the danger. So Rahitra will finally get help. He should be happy. I'm boarding. Somehow. What are you muttering? I can't hear you clearly. <laughs> Rahitra, come on, don't be silly. Over and out. Rahitra. Oh. Okay, not quite at the bridge yet, but I'm getting closer, much closer, Rahitra. It must be the medical wing. Surprisingly, everything's still running. Was Rahitra here? The 
I considered even the most absurd forms of protection against a cloud. And I don't blame them. Different sections. Different elevator cards. Ah, oh, they really overdo it with the security measures around here. I guess I still have some time to look around. trying to slow me down. I didn't design these elevators, if that's what you're asking. No, that's not it. You can clearly control them, but... <sighs> Never mind. Dear Ackfield, ready to activate. Oh, you came after all. Now that you're here, why don't you help me? With what? With the probes. They're over the battlefield. I do have visuals from the Cyclops here, but I can't do everything on my own. Oh, wait. Activity's increasing. They're coming. Are you helping or not? Come on, Yasna. It's about to start. I can't wait any longer. Uh, all right. Have it your way. Okay, I'm ready. What am I looking at? It'll be... Uh, number five, a long-range one. It sees the entire perimeter. Better switch to a closer one. There's the Cyclops. Great. Force field activation. I confirm. Field active. The cloud's within reach. I'm shooting. The close range is dead. No wonder. It's boiling over there. The field is shrinking. Calm down, Yasna. It will hold. Whoa! Oh, oh, beautiful! It's not a machine, it's the devil himself. I'm telling you! Shit! I'm losing connection. Do you see anything? They're creating a tight formation. A cyclone. Fucking shit! What was that? You tell me. Can't you see anything? The mid-range is dead. How about the long-range? The long-range works. The cloud has stopped attacking. The Cyclops is... Huh? What is it doing? What did you see? Yasna! The cloud... won. What? You said... Don't count on the Cyclops anymore. Circus must have gone haywire. It shot down the probes. Now it's probably operating with a new goal. Like all those machines earlier. I, do, I don't understand. How? This is pure madness. Hey, at least we still have the Invincible. Don't mock me. I'm not mocking you, Rahitra. They really are flying here. They'll be here in about... 
Hold on for a moment, I'll find out. Dragonfly. Astrogator, this is Yasna. I managed to get to the Condor's Bridge, where Hitra and I led the attack on the cloud. But the Cyclops... You failed? Worse. The Cyclops got out of control and knocked down the probes. I had a feeling it would end like this. Do you know what Ray Hitra is planning now? I have no idea. Well, then I need to talk to him. You, sir? Yes. Can you switch me somehow? Okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. You should be able to hear you now. Done. Please talk. Hello, Condor. This is Astrogator Novik, commander of the IC Dragonfly ship. I repeat, this is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor Cruiser. Please come in. <laughs> Could you stop with all these? Rohitra, Engineer Rohitra. Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak, which I guess makes me commander. <laughs> Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces. To prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree. Officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. I'd even say that your crew is working on it pretty damn actively. We stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The cloud suffered significant losses. As a counterattack, though, it disrupted our communications. That's why we need to change tactics. Mm. To be honest, I don't see how changing tactics in this situation would make any difference. I strongly disagree, Novik. All it takes is the right tool. Meaning what exactly? Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity. The technological prowess is still unknown. And it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no memory. Only pure energy. You still have an answer, New Hitra. Please, just tell me straight. What do you want to? I'm arming the charges. Arming what? Explosives? Plaster munitions? Hydrogen. What? Rehitra? Are you serious? Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? 54. From 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Oh. Quite an arsenal. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement, Doctor. An amount of energy could rip the planet to pieces. I'm not an idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads to start with. And then? We'll see. Are you sure this is a good idea, Rehitra? <sighs> Listen, Yasna, I know how it must look to you. A hot-headed guy from the Alliance who wants to use nukes. But put yourself in my shoes. I have two dozen hours tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen later. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens and ensure the safety of those who survived. They all deserve better than this. I know you understand. You like me. You would do anything for your crew. Not only do I understand you, I feel the same desire. But revenge is out of the question. Why? We are dealing with creations of necro-evolution. 
dead evolution. And probably non-sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like... Whipping the ocean for sinking a ship? Exactly. Like Xerxes. While we express our suffering, rage, and frustration, we won't accomplish much. Or we won't harm it. We won't instill fear in it. We won't make it surrender. I'm going to destroy it, Yasna. Not scare it, not hurt it. Exterminate every last piece of it. You and Hitler are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? Oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget for Hitler. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. Yes, sir. What do you think? Sentient or not, they are the enemies of all protein life. Virgo? Our enemies. Just like that. Yes. Please remember what we've learned. Before the machines came to Regis 3, this planet was teeming with life. Before the cloud wiped out all its competition. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasna found various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. Oh, they certainly competed with the local fauna. We've seen fish that evolved to sense electromagnetic fields. And underground, I found fossils of lizard-like reptiles. Some of them must have been predatory. Well, I find it hard to believe that any prehistoric reptiles would possess our level of technology. Not to mention an arsenal. Well, they wouldn't have. But there were other machines here as well. Other machines? I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. No, Rachel, these are no fables. You've gathered evidence for us. How did these machines even get here? Who built them? Probably some alien race. Highly evolved. It all adds up if we assume they crashed on Regis III. But not even a single living organism survived the accident. Only machines were left. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotions. They don't... argue. I'm sorry, but... I don't know if there's any point in discussing this further. In short, we are facing an entity that has triumphed over countless adversaries, both organic and mechanical ones. I see no point in prolonging this discussion. For me, the matter is perfectly clear. It makes no sense to bomb these creatures. I even say it's a greater danger to us than to them. But how else do you imagine defeating the cloud? Well, that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, sir. Do you agree? Well... Yeah. I very much agree. Another attack would make no difference. Just a few flies are enough for the cloud to regenerate. What if we destroy their nests? No, Retra. Unless we want to destroy the entire planet, it's impossible to eliminate them all. And even then, there's no guarantee they would die in space. After all, the flies need nowhere, water, or food. Only solar energy. Uh, but what else could we do, if not attack? The Invincible is near. We can wait for its arrival. Huh, right. That is one solution. Somehow I had a feeling I would never leave this place. You don't have a lander? We had two. But the cloud destroyed both. Let's drop it, all right? Further discussion is pointless. The charges are almost ready. Rehitra, for fuck's sake, be reasonable! You won't stand down, will you? An escalatory solution won't work. Stop. But, Doctor... No, Astrogator. I've had enough of this argument. You can't always get your way. Do what you think is right, Rehitra. How long will it take you? Just a moment. They will pay for all this. They? It's not a conscious entity. It's dead. You're wrong, Yasta. It's about to be dead.
Watch your eyes. Nothing changed. What? Is this a joke? No one and nothing can. It's unbelievable. They really are invincible. Another fiasco? This can't be happening. Doctor, I don't understand. The flies! For Hitra, they're flying this way. What the hell has he done? Astrogator, you must evacuate. Now! I'll. I'll join you later. Thank you. 